So, where are we today? We've got Jeff here today. Here's Jeff. And on the bench, he's brought down the side frames for a county station wagon. And he had a little bit of a four par with them, didn't you, Jeff? Do you yeah. want to explain? Yeah, well, they were wetted, welded in the wrong place, wrong measurement, and. Uh, they were completely wrong, weren't they? Yeah, well, you had the left on the right, the right on the left. Yeah. And uh, the sea posts Everything were too, too far forward, weren't they? And they got painted after all. So yeah, that's, that's, a, bit of that's shame. a bummer, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to try and correct it, because now the bench is nice and clean. Um, we first of all, we're going to we've we've measured off my truck that 34 and three quarters, haven't we? Yep. So we're going to get the the, the B post in at 34 and three quarters. The right way around. Yeah, hopefully. Now I can't really. I wonder if I could put this camera back a bit further, Jeff, so because we can't get. It. I'm too large for your camera. No, 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 no. We're in sort of pan -of panorama vision now. Let's have a look at that. Uh, higher. That's all right. Yeah, that's it. You just chuck my head there. Yeah, no, well, you'll have to get down on your knees. <laughs> right, so we've worked out that if we put this on, uh, we can work out the length from there, from the end of here to the edge of the door, 34 and 3 quarters, and then put a square on, we should be right. Yes. So we're just going to tack it up, aren't we? Uh, yes, and uh, you see them all here. They should be in the middle. I think so. Well, I mean, they, they figured out a way to drain the thing, so... That's, that's, that's to let water in, Jeff. Don't yeah. worry about that. That's to let water in, so they rust out quicker. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they manage it. But anyway, let's do this one first. We'll tack it first. Yeah, exactly. We should have enough height to do it. Yeah. Right. So if you can get the measure right, it should be the same in and out. It should be the same, yeah, but maybe Land Rover. Back a little hair. Tiny. That'll do. I'll put a tack there. Yeah, catch it. Yeah, so that's a good tack. Let's measure it up again, Jeff. Three point three point spot on. Now we'll use our square thing. Square. Yeah. Yeah. Set that thing at the same level as the, uh, the, can't as the go table. Off my, can't go off my bench because we've got some bendy bits in it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. So it's kind of but you get an approximate. Yeah. So if you go like that, that's yeah, about that's the right, right angle. Too bad, is it? No, it's, it's, that's one of the funny things. And if oh. you're going to do something with it, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm so tired of it. If it doesn't fit, I think I'm going to burn the thing down. <laughs> Enter it first, burn it something. Right. Uh, oh, the ground. So I'm going to 
got two wells across here, well that up properly. Yeah. Let me check if it moves or if it's of what? The door. The outside skin and the inside of the door. 28, eh? 28 from here to the other side, eh? Because um, remember that that little piece that goes at the bottom here, uh, yeah this bit can it, when it flaps over, yeah. it, you can't work it, off it. It covers that. Yeah. Bit. So the only thing that really matters, I think, well, what I thought about is if it's 34 and 3 quarter at the front, we can maybe measure a door and say there's an extra, let's say, an inch of extra of plate on both sides. I think it's half inch. So if we figure out that number, if it's half inch, we can always know that from that side to the other one with the door, the exterior door, which is 29 and 3 quarter. Carry on. Yeah, don't you have a, a subscriber or something like that that could give us the measure? Well, probably the next week. Yeah. I, I have I've asked uh, YRM, is that the name of the company? YRM? Yeah. yeah. What did they say? Well, you haven't bought it from us. Well, it's from Paddock, but they are from your company. Well, we don't give you any measurement. Well, what are the twats, eh? Yeah. Well, I'm not buying anything off them anymore. anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> Who doesn't do that, eh? Yeah, but I mean, what does it. Well, after maybe a couple of thousand investing in a company buying stuff, I yeah, but it's still there, you still there the, stuff. You could have gave me the. the it's still the, there, it's still yeah, there yeah, products, no, isn't it? No, no. Well, that's gone down to my, my yeah. opinion. Right, so let's do that then. Yeah. <coughs> so let's clamp it up with a G clamp. Yeah, so it doesn't fall down. Yeah. You can take the ground off because we can put the ground off. I don't know. I thought you would have bought a well yourself by now, Jeff. No, I had one. I just sold it. That's not it was a stick welder. Oh, I didn't have a makers. Yeah. I'm not that rich. I'm not like you. I just can't afford to pay someone like you. Stick, that'll do stick welding as well. How much was that? 500? 600? No, I've got to give them. Yes, welder sent me it. Why? To just do some promotions on it. I use it all the time now. Yeah. I had a mate, do you know something, it's funny enough that I had a little Lincoln welder, a little yeah. red one. Yeah, I remember. For donkey's years, I did. Yeah, yeah. When I was up at Celine's place. Oh, I must have had it, what, 18, 20 years? Yeah, something like that. And it went wrong, and I gave it to Debbie's brother to fix. And that was three years ago. And what happened? But the front drive never fixed. So the day, the day before it broke, they sent me that. It was like a miracle. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how things work out. Okay, and I've either. never got it back. It's got to be rusty now, so. Yeah. My friend Alfred in Paraguay, if you're watching Alfred, this one's for you. He sent me a link to a place in China that's making complete body shells for Land Rovers. All this stuff, everything, complete. Complete like? Aluminium roof, windows, doors, everything. Comes in a big frame. 
You could buy a whole Land Rover. Cheap. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. But we were concerned about the fit and finish if it was yeah. any good or not. Because, yeah. you know, Land Rovers only fit where they touch. But they were, they had days. You could buy all the bits individually if you want. Because they're getting... They're getting expensive to buy now. And then the shipping is out of this world. This year is, is got all... How much is the cost you in shipping for this? I, I can't remember. You got this from Robert and Arthur or... No, I bought from them from UK. Paddock. Oh, you got them from Paddock. Paddock is the cheapest on shipping. Yeah. It was. It's started to pick up now. Everything's going up. Yeah, but um, going, yeah. they were pretty cheap. Um, I bought a roof rack right. from Britpart, you know, the expedition one, which is all welded together. You cannot, you know, put it in parts and uh, no, 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 no. ship it. It's a big thing to ship. Uh, was that aluminium? Yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know how much boxes with that, and it cost me something like a thousand and a half or maybe two thousand to ship that. It was what, dollars? pretty cheap. Yeah, dollar, Canadian dollar. Pretty cheap. Mm. The the door were expensive from SP four by four. Oh, you got the double ones. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty heavy and they were. Did you get the peel doors or did you get the? Um... No, I get the normal one, which is with a skin that is galvanized and a frame that galvanized, oh. which is not a Puma. No. And uh, problem, problem is when you start getting pumas, you have to funny about with all the bloody linkages and I didn't know. winders. And I didn't know, so I said, might as well buy you yeah, know, the you original might, one. You might as well use the original stuff. But uh, the shipping is. Oh, it's just—it's just, it's just that watering. It's I, I, I watering the shipping now. That's why I don't do parts here. And there's no money in it. No if, money I was, to make. if I was, if I was, just imagine, if I was to buy this from you, from root part or wherever it is, paddocks, and then I want to resell it to you, but and then you've got to pay the shipping as well from here to Tewkesbury. Mm -hmm. It's an absolute fortune. Exactly. You couldn't make any money on it. That's why I bought the frame uh, and the bulkhead from Rovers North. Yeah. Because I could drive Go it, down, pick it, pick it up, up even if it's... No. Usually what you do is you buy, let's say from Paddock, a part at a uh, $1,000 Canadian. Mm. If you want to buy it from Rovers North, it's a $1,000 US. Mm. And then you add to, um, well, you add the taxes on that. But you have taxes in, in, um, in Vermont that you've got to pay when you buy the stuff. And right. you cannot claim it back. Oh. So I think it's 4 or 6 percent, something like that. So it's all add up. Oh, it does. It does. I, I, I'll tell you, you know, when, when Mike was working here, when we did the Land Rover once, I think, oh, many, many years ago, it was a white one. It was a really nice one. I think we sold it for 60000 mm -hmm. Galvanised chassis, new bulk, you know, galvanised bulkhead, all these galvanised everything. And when we worked out, the price it cost me to fly across to England to buy a car in the first place, because one of the, the VIN number of it, and then we contained it back, <laughs> So we had to buy a car, I had to spend a month or so in the UK. All this expensive petrol money, all this running about and stuff like this, containers. When we got back, when, when we spent all the summer building it, we worked out we were working for five dollars an hour. And I said, that's, never again, that's it, never again. Well, if someone wants to rebuild this Land Rover, there's a, a guy, you, you need to have a pretty deep pocket. A guy rang me up the other day and says, uh, how much to build a Land Rover? He says, it needs new doors and it's got a, needs new doors and a bulkhead, maybe a chassis. And I says, oh, it'd be $100,000. And that's it? Plus parts, plus paint. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, today, <laughs> I've invested more than $80,000 on parts. Mm. That's excluding the paint. And I've, I've close to a hundred. What did they charge for paint? The thing is that I got a, a painter first that wasn't really able to do the job correctly. All right. And he kind of stole my money. So, but if this you is this is in two pack, isn't it? Yeah. It's not base coat clear. Huh? And this is he charged me uh, seven thousand for the, the whole all the parts. Painting. Yeah. Holy schmoly. Yeah. That was a lot. What are you going to do? I and, they, and they were all off. Yep. And they were new parts. You didn't have to sand them down, put bottles No, 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 no. They had pretty... They they had, yeah, well, the, the wings were... The, the, the truck was accidented first. Oh. So they had to uh, rebuild all the, the front end of it. There, there were so many scratches and marks and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, but well, I mean, you've got new doors. You didn't have yeah, to sand yeah. them up with them. Well, they spent two days on the doors because I bought them all assembled. Right. 
Oh, to the entertainment class out. Oh, geez, it's a big job, eh? Yep. All the, all the, the oh, um, hey, uh, and you know the new cars now. You just pull on the on the rubber and they go goes up. Now this all screwed in and to, you're talking to the converted here eh? because when when we had some guys from Ghana come, you know these Ghana one tens, these white ones, and the doors are all rotten. I said it's a thousand dollars a door. Exactly. And that was that was two years ago. Mm -hmm. I said it's a thousand dollars. Oh, where do you get that from? They said they're only two hundred and some pounds in England. I said that's oh, in England. Then you've got to get them here, yeah. you've got to take the old ones apart, it's all rusty, you've got to replace all the plastics and the rubbers and stuff like that. And there'll be plenty of bits and you painting. need to really... Yeah. Two years ago they used to charge $300 for uh, painting a door. That was two years ago. I bet it's about six, $700 now. Well the door at SP as I bought, they are close to a thousand pound each yeah. without shipping and taxes. No, that's right. And then you have to dismantle them and paint them. The reason why I bought them full, full build up is that I didn't want to, uh, to have any problem with fittings. No, well that's it, but that's what I'm saying, that's why it was a thousand dollars door. Because you think, oh, doors are cheap, I'll ship some doors, but all the plastics break and the rubbers are broken, and the match. winders are not. You try to put the, the plastic, uh, the card there, and it doesn't really it doesn't match. It doesn't just line up, no, yeah, exactly. no, we've been there, done that, got t-shirts and everything. Right, let's do this banter because we're going to run out of tape. Yep. <laughs> But that was that'll film it. Right, come, let's get these clamped up because it's only beer o'clock. Yep. <laughs> right, I've got it. Oh, do you want me to do it? <laughs> yeah, clamp it. I don't, I don't know where your tools are. Well, they're really in front of you, don't Yeah, they? well. No. Structural, even if it's welded together. Well, I suppose it's kind of, kind of stronger than a body. It depends where you put it, you see. Because, well, well, I suppose so. Because it's welded there, so if, if you just put a bolt into it, yeah. maybe it's not as powerful as. I, do. I wouldn't like to have a crash in the land over there, so. Yeah, that's it. Alright. So this is just a little postscript. Uh, when we finished uh, Jeff's side frames, you know, for the 110 station wagon, we came to put them in his car and they wouldn't go in. <laughs> Couldn't get him to go back in his car. Um, which was a bit of a disappointment because Jeff lives three and a half hours away from here. So that's a lot of driving backwards and forwards. And he didn't bring his trailer. So... We went upstairs and we went on my computer to see how much it would be to send them by a courier. Might be cheaper. $2,111 to, I'm not joking, to send them three hours away. Unbelievable. So I don't know what he's going to do. We've put them in the container now. I'm not sure if he's going to come down with his little trailer and pick them up and fasten them on, but... It just shows you how these projects can run away with you um, with you know, like expenses and time and trouble that you really don't encounter. To me, you know, just welding frame up, well, that's, that, I didn't even charge Jeff. But the thing was that it, it's all those unforeseen charges that add up and add up and add up. So just be careful of that when you buy in those frames. Now, you're going to say to me, why didn't I take measurements of that, Mike? And you can make a jig, yes I could, and then we could send you the frames, you could weld them up, 
And then we can fit them on our Land Rovers. Yes, you could. But again, we were in the dark. We don't know what the actual frame measurements are of the originals. That was the problem. If there was, I could have knocked up a, I could have knocked up a jig this afternoon. No problems at all. But I don't want to make a jig that everyone would be wrong. Think about that. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's mainly a bit of banter and a bit of carrying on from me and Jeff, but uh, we'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra!